Elaine from Geek by Heart, and I want to jump on to talk about Silent Hill 2 Remake. They just dropped the trailer. I mean, they talked about a lot of different things that's going to be taking place in Silent Hill, but I really want to talk about Silent Hill 2. It's one of my favorite games, so let's go into the trailer, and then I'm going to talk about it afterwards. Let's go. But it looks beautiful though. <laughs> it's definitely the beginning of the game. Yeah, definitely giving me the beginning of the game vibes. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Mm. Mm. Uh, just the texture of the face. <laughs> Could she really be here? Waiting for me? Okay. You'll find out, won't you? Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Alright. Stick into the story beats. I mean, it's a remake, but I'm glad to see that. Mm, okay. In my Ooh. restless dreams. Ready to I see that down. Give me ready two vibes over the shoulder. That looks crazy. Silent oh, Hill. Man. That looks so beautiful. And I'm glad they have the fog still. I'm gonna try nothing new about that. Thing about Silent Hill, even though this is Negan's bat, you will know that you will probably need something like that to survive in Silent Hill. We are going to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and the hopes for this remake. All right, all right. So what I liked about it first, the good, the texture of this game looks great. It looks great. It actually makes me excited to get a PS5 because it's only going to be on PS5. So sorry, Xboxers, y'all might have to go on Steam for it but it will be on PS5. All right, so the texture looks good. I'm glad they're keeping the fog. That is consistent Silent Hill. I want the fog to be a little more organic, um, but it looks good so far, so I'm excited about that. Um, I know this wasn't talked about. No, actually it was. It was in the first part of the uh, trailer. The original composer, Akira, and I don't want to say the man's name wrong, but any Silent Hill fan knows that the music is top tier and if he's going to be involved in the project I have high hopes that he's going to pin the atmosphere because when I tell you that Silent Hill is psychologically hor uh, horror and just plain fucking scary I, I mean it really is. It is actually really near and dear to my heart because that franchise, Silent Hill 1, um, was my first survival horror that I ever played. So it was like, um, 
I tried to play Resident Evil. I could not get past that dog. I said, um, GameStop, give me something else. And they said, Silent Hill. I said, okay, I'll try it. And I was a fan ever, ever since. And actually, I played Silent Hill 2. And the first time I played it through, I really didn't understand it because I couldn't believe that it was so cerebral. I felt like I was missing something. So after playing it again and again and again, or even watching it for the years past, like I get it. It is one of the best, best written survival horrors out there. For sure. So if you have not played it, try to get it through an emulator, something, go watch somebody who has played it on YouTube. It is an experience you will like. I think for the bad, I'll say that, I, I don't know, I'm not a fan of the character model space for James. Um, I don't know, I think I like the, the <laughs> I think I like the original a little bit better, but um, that just may be some, that's nothing wrong with the game. Let's put it that way. That's just a personal thing for me. I would have liked, I think the ugly about it, I would have liked to see the other side. So if you are not familiar with the series, um, Silent Hill has another side. Um, I'm not going to get in that part more detailed later because this is kind of like a non-spoiler point of view if you have not played the game i don't want to give too many story beats about what it's about but i'm gonna talk about it a little bit later and like spoilers if you want to know about that but long story short there is a alternate side to sound hill and um fans will know about it and it is iconic um you really didn't see a lot of that I think maybe you might have seen a little bit in the background where you see him be like, no, or, or just goes down on the floor, but that's about it. I would have liked to see more of it. Now, with that being said, am I mad mad about it? No, because I feel like they are going to be showing that in the next trailer whenever that pops out, right? But again, longtime Silent Hill fans, I bet you I'm not the only one that wanted to see that alternate side, all right? Um, so I will say that. So I think the last thing I want to talk about before getting to like spoilers or whatever is the hope. I like the fact that what you see right now, they're just talking about it just from James perspective as they should. The game is about his journey, right? But throughout his journey, he does meet other characters. I would love to see them not emphasize those characters, but have that as DLC. Okay, um, long time fans, you will know what I'm talking about. I think that that would be a perfect marriage about having those characters just be what they are for James, but the background of those characters or their personal stories, that would be an excellent idea. Excellent, excellent, excellent idea for DLC. So I'm gonna say this. If you don't wanna know anything about the specific story itself, I would say bail now, because now I'm gonna talk about the actual story if you do, stay tuned, let's go. Um, three, two, one, spoilers. Now, so I think another hope for it is that I would love to have an immersive prologue that stops just short of James killing his wife, okay? I, I would love to see that probably as DLC or that could be an alternate ending, okay? That you see an immersive prologue, not just like the letter that you get at the end or the explanation, I believe I'm not mistaken from Laura or whatever, but like an immersive prologue that talks about and you can see and feel what is going on. Maybe it could be like a little bit episodic where you see episode one, it's where they had a great life. Episode two, she found out she's getting sick and you see that alternate character emerge from James. Episode three, now it's, it's, it's towards the end. And you know what I mean? Um, that would be dope. That would be really, really dope. Um, I think other spoiler content that I will unsee or just talk about really quickly. Now I, I was talking to you about the other side. Yeah, that other side should definitely be about James' psyche and they need to go all hand. And Pyramid Head, Pyramid, Pyramid Head, let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm ready for it. He's one of the most iconic character designs. Okay, like people who don't even know where the fuck that's from know about Pyramid Head. Okay, and I cannot wait to see more of him. I, I hope he, um, I kind of feel like I want him to be a little bit more like, and I I'm, I'm, could be wrong. I know you'll correct me. Like um, the monster in Resi 2 remake. 
um, I think it's Mr. X, something like that. He goes around and, and haunts y'all, y'all players, for real, for real, okay? But like I said, I think overall, this is a great trailer. This might be redemption, okay? And I really cannot wait, okay, to see this game. I cannot wait to play this game. I want to know who is he talking to. Is he talking to his old to ego? Is he talking to Pyramid Head, not realizing that he now killed Mary now? Okay, is he talking to Maria? Like, I, I wanted these answers, you know, I want these answers and I want these backstories that even as secondary characters. But, um, yeah, overall, I, I can't wait. I hope Mary, um, Mary McLean comes back. Uh, Waiting for You is one of my favorite Silent Hill 4 um, uh, songs. Um, and she's got a great voice. She has um, songs at least, I can't remember if she's from the first, but she definitely has songs from the second, third, and fourth film. I mean, not film, um, movie, uh, not movie, not film, game. Okay, um, so yeah. I'm ready for it. I hope you are too. So listen, if you love what you see, you will really be helping the channel a lot if you subscribe, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, let me know what your comments are below. Are you ready for Silent Hill? Have you ever heard of the franchise outside of the movies? Because the first movie, that's another video for another day. The first movie was legit, okay? The less we talk about the second movie, the better. So, boom. But like I said, if you like what you see, Subscribe, comment below. What are you feeling? What are you not feeling? Like the thumbs up, and we'll see you later. I'm Lainey, out of Geek by Heart, the good, bad, and the ugly, Silent Hill 2.